Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Blade Assault for the PC. The game is a 2D style action roguelike platformer with beautiful pixel art set in a desolate sci-fi world. The game is developed by Team Sunnyt and is being published by NeoWiz. At present the game is still being worked on and video footage shown here is of early access mode, so please do remember the footage that you see in this video might change upon final release of the game itself. With all that being said though, is this game any good and what makes it stand out among all the other 2D platformers which are available on Steam and various other consoles these days? Let's take a look in more detail in the review and see. At present with the game still being in early access mode, we're not really told a massive amount about the game's story or its plot. What we are told however is that there was some sort of huge war which caused the world to be divided into three regions. The first region is the Undercity world, which is also known as the Ghetto, which is where most humans now live and they have fled. The top layer is now the Mutant region, which is now full of horrible deadly mutants which will kill anyone upon sight. And the final and third region is the Sky City region, where only rich and powerful now rule over what is left of the world. You and a small resistance group of fighters fight against the corrupt military of the Sky City reign and also fight hordes of mutants and monsters at the same time. And that's basically it for the time being. There will be more as the game is made and developed, but at present that is all we know. Just as with the game's plot, this area is still in very early development, and as such we're not told a huge amount yet about each individual character that we see. However, what I can tell you is that within just a few minutes of playing this game, I liked what I saw. I could clear as day see the Cowboy Bebop hints with certain characters, and hints other characters from other beloved anime franchise that I also know of. So whilst it's still early, I'm sure that many gamers out there like me will like what they see when it comes to knowing and understanding more about the characters within the game. I want to know more, and I'm already invested in what's been shown to me. So perhaps the most important part of the game is its gameplay and is that any good or not? Does it have that special something about it, or is it just a very bland carbon copy of all the other 2D platformers out there at present? If I am being totally and completely honest, I would have to say it's about a 70-30 split. Whilst the game is highly enjoyable and addictive, it does have rather a lot of elements which I've seen countless times before in other 2D platformers. With that being said though, the game does offer a huge unique way of playstyle, as it offers the player the choice of playing the game with either long range weapons, such as guns or grenades, or short range weapons, such as swords, axes, and close quarter moves. Each playstyle is very different from one another, and requires a lot of practice to get used to mastering each individual weapon, and to get the most out of the combo skills, and everything else that you're going to need in order to learn to stay alive. The gameplay, whilst being a lot like games I have previously played, does offer something unique about it which makes me want to go more and more into the game, and invest more time in it. The game's graphics have gone for a pixel art style look mixed in with synthwave vibes and then blended together with a kick-ass soundtrack to boot. The long story short is this. The game's graphics are exceptionally nice and very well executed. They have clearly had a lot of time and effort put into them, and things can only get better with the more the game progresses and is given time to grow. If you like what you see, just think how the finished product is going to look. As I have already stated previously, I am using early access footage, as I am currently testing the beta version of the game before its official release. So I have noticed that at times some locations do look a bit samey, some stages do kind of look identical to previous ones which I was just on, but again this is early access gameplay testing. So I am expecting this to change quite a lot by the time that the game is finally released. What I have seen at present from the few stages which are available, and which are now also available in the demo release, is that they won't disappoint. Each area offers its own look, unique feel and vibe, and it's also very different depending on which weapon choice that you choose to pick from. It really can affect how you're going to survive in that environment. 
Alright, so after everything's been all said and done, here is the main question. Is Blade Assault worth your time or not? And is it really that different to all the other 2D platformer games out there today? I would have to say that yes it is quite different, and yes it is highly addictive and very enjoyable. Within just a few hours of game time, Blade Assault had me hooked and had me wanting more of it. There's loads of weapons to choose from, to learn and master, and you can become an expert with either guns or swords. There's huge boss battles, there's dozens of enemies on screen at once, and you can choose your way to level up. It's got a hard learning curve, but that makes you also want to master it as well. All in all, the game is a highly enjoyable 2D action adventure game, which I don't think will leave you feeling disappointed, but instead will leave you feeling that you've made a great and good purchase. And most importantly of all, I can say that this game is fun. And that's the most important thing about games in today's era. They have to be fun, they have to keep you entertained, and they have to keep you hooked. And although this game is in early access stages at present, I can already tell that it's going to be a great game by the time it's finally finished. Well, that's it for this for you guys. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.